Hello and welcome to Science 360, the truth behind 2012. I'm Caius from Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center. If you've watched TV, seen the movie 2012, or been on the internet lately, you may have noticed that a lot of things are being said about 2012, and I'm not talking about the London Olympics or the next US presidential election. I'm talking about the rumors that December 21st, 2012 is going to be the end of the world. Have you heard that one? The end of the world claim is not just one claim. There are people out there saying all sorts of things about 2012. You might think that some of these claims are humorous, but many of them are being written in scientific language by people who seem pretty believable. And a lot of people are scared about what might happen in December of 2012. In this series of videos, we will explore eight 2012 apocalypse claims in more depth to separate the facts from the fiction. One of the major claims about 2012 has to do with an ancient Mayan calendar predicting the end of time. In fact, this claim is the basis for all of the other claims about December 21st, 2012. Let's find out more. Analysis of the ancient Mayan civilization reveals that they predicted the end of the world on December 21st, 2012. So that's the Mayan calendar claim in a nutshell. Let's explore this in more detail. The ancient Mayan civilization stretched from southern Mexico through much of northern Central America and reached its peak state of development about 1,500 years ago. The Mayans are noted for their art and architecture, as well as their impressive mathematical and astronomical knowledge. The Mayans used not just one, but at least three calendar systems, one of which will reach an important date on December 21st, 2012. That one is called the Long Count Calendar, and it was used to keep track of historical events. In this calendar, a date was represented by five numbers, like what you see on the screen. Each number had a name, with the rightmost number representing the day. 20 days made up a weenal. 18 weenals made up a toon. 20 toons made up a katoon. And 20 katoons made up a baktoon, or 144,000 days in total. According to most Mayan scholars, 13 baktuns represented one complete cycle of time. The count started with 0000, which is the date on which the Mayans believed the Earth was created, August 11th, 3114 BC on our calendar. According to this calendar system, December 20th, 2012 will be the last day of the 13th baktun cycle. So December 21st, 2012 would be the first day that is not included in the current long count cycle. But does this mean the Mayans thought time would end on this date? No. Mayans believed that December 2012 would be the end of one large cycle of time, but there are references in Mayan documents that refer to dates both before this cycle and after this cycle ends. You can think of it like our own calendars. Most of them end on December 31st, but that doesn't mean that time stops on this date. It simply means that it is time for a new calendar. There are still some Mayans living today, and they are not preparing for an apocalypse. In fact, the ancient Mayans would likely have just prepared a huge celebration to mark the completion of such a large calendar cycle. One more note, there are some Mayan scholars who believe that one complete cycle was actually 20 baktuns instead of 13, which would mean that it would take many more centuries for a complete cycle. So now we know that the Mayan calendar claim is false. One of the Mayan calendars will reach an important date on December 21st, 2012, but the Mayans did not predict an apocalypse on this date. The calendar will simply roll over to a new cycle. Thanks for watching this segment of Science 360, the truth behind 2012. For information about more 2012 claims, check out the rest of the videos in this series.